Hi you guys, it's your girl Janetta Koa here and welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I have a pretty interesting video for you guys. If you've been watching or tuning into my channel, you guys know that I am a straight hair natural. I consider myself a straight hair natural, which means I don't really wear my hair in its naturally curly state or in its natural state. But every once in a while, I get that random urge to just wear my hair in its naturally curly state. And I decided to go ahead and film that for you guys. But just keep in mind, I am a straight hair natural and I don't do this like very often. This is a very once in a while routine for me. I actually don't own a lot of curly hair products. Actually, the products I'm gonna show you guys aren't even really curly hair products except for one. So you guys are gonna see what I do, what I do for my hair. So yeah, today I'm gonna be showing you guys my curly hair routine as a straight hair natural. I've never seen a video like this before. So I decided to go ahead and do this. This is a very once in a while type of routine for me. So I'm excited to show you guys. If you guys wanna know the details, how I care for my hair when it's in its natural state, the products that I use, then make sure you guys keep on watching. All right, you guys, so it was about that time for me to go ahead and wash my hair. And this time around, I decided to, instead of like straightening it out, I decided to just leave my hair in its naturally curly state. As you guys know, I am a straight hair natural, so I mostly just wear my hair in like a silk press. This was like an old um, hairstyle. These were old crimps that I did probably like a week ago. They started to get, you know, just real old and crusty looking. But you know what? Let me know if I'm the only one that does this. Like right before I'm about to wash my hair, I always be like, oh, my hair kind of looks cute. Like it always happens when I'm about to wash my hair, but no sis, we gotta get this thing under control. So I'm gonna go ahead and use my Herbal Essence Tea Tree Conditioner. And then I'm also gonna use a shampoo that also has tea tree oil in it, just because I wanna have like that minty feeling on my scalp. So I'm gonna go ahead in the shower. I didn't get any clips in the shower, but I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hair and then we are gonna go ahead and start the process okay so this is my hair um i went ahead and ate some breakfast and then let my hair like t-shirt dry so my hair is not fully wet but that's okay we're gonna tackle that so this is my hair fresh out of the shower i'm gonna go ahead and divide my hair into sections because i want to make sure that i coat my hair evenly with all the products that i'm about to use now for me personally i like for my hair especially nowadays if i'm gonna wear it in its natural state i kind of like that wet look so i apply the product almost to like every inch of my hair i used to not do this because i liked for my hair to look big and poofy but um yeah now i apply the product to every section so now i'm going to go ahead and re-wet my hair because like i said my hair was starting to dry up so i'm going to go ahead and spray some water into my hair i really like that water bottle it's so cute i got it a long time ago but anyways after i do that i'm going to go in with my herbal essence hello hydration conditioner i absolutely love this conditioner not only does it smell amazing but this conditioner has great slip i feel like this is perfect for the curly girls because like i said this conditioner like it literally glides through my hair like i absolutely love this conditioner also i am well aware that this is not a leave-in conditioner but ever since i went natural i've always like especially if i'm wearing my hair curly i will leave a regular conditioner like this in my hair now if I was straightening my hair, I would not do this. I would only use a leave-in conditioner in my hair if I was straightening it. But because I'm not straightening my hair, I don't mind leaving a regular conditioner in my hair. That's the only time I ever like leave a regular conditioner in my hair is if I'm gonna wear it in its natural state. And I've never had any issues or any problems. I can even get away with using this conditioner as a styler, but because I want more of like a neater look, I am going to use this as like my base. So this is gonna be like my moisturizer, slash styler um, my hair is going to start off looking very like neat kind of like that wet look but as the days go on my hair starts to get bigger and bigger so I kind of like my hair to look a little crispy at first but yeah so I'm going to go ahead and repeat this process throughout my entire head and then I'll come back to tell you guys the next thing that I do you brought me the money sealed up I still had to count it I cannot just hide whoa 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 yeah let's have sex in the bank Telling her open a safe. I hate a privileged rapper who don't even know what it takes. The diamonds they hit like a rainbow. That's cause the neck is a frame. Her, whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, that's that sex in the nines. Do it. Breaking and bending the spines. Do it. I hate a privileged rapper that they had to hit six times. Do it. Niggas be full of excuses. That lady taking their time. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Look at me dead in my eyes, you see all the time that I had to go outside Too many sticks, we go to war with whoever ain't never been by Too many sticks, I was dead, yo, ops, and none of them died I won't even lie to you guys, it felt so weird doing this process. Like, I'm not used to doing like a wash and go type of style on my hair. This is very random, like, just, I only do this on occasion, and I do not miss doing this at all. My hair is not that hard to manage anyway. I've always kind of had like a looser texture, even when I first went natural. But now my hair is even more easier to manage because I am heat trained. But anyways, we're going to go in with my got to be glued gel. I like to put this on my edges because as I mentioned earlier, I am into like the wet look. So I like everything to like kind of look laid and sleek down. That's another thing with me and why I just can't really do wash and goes because I like mine to look a little perfect. Like I like the crisp look. And then as the days go on, I like for my hair to naturally get bigger. So for me, I like to coat every strand. And as you guys can see, I'm raking my fingers through. This is one of the things that I do not miss about doing wash goes but on occasion I don't mind so I'm just gonna go ahead and slick down my edges using that got to be glued gel and I'm just gonna continue the same process on the top of my head using my herbal essence conditioner spraying some water and making sure that every strand is coated evenly I also did want to mention that some areas of my hair is curlier more curlier than others um, being a straight hair natural my main focus isn't like preserving my curls I'm not like you know super adamant about that so I do have heat damage like especially towards the front of my hair um, like I said you'll see some pieces are more curlier than the others like I find that I have more curlier pieces towards the back of my hair but yeah saving my curls is not like a big priority to me because I don't wear my hair like this often it's just very once in a while that I wear it like this All right, so next up, I didn't show you guys the bottle, but I'm actually going in with some got to be glued um, hair gel and I'm going in and kind of using like the prayer hands motion and I'm coating my hair with the got to be glued gel. This is just going to lock in the style that I have. Um, as I'm mentioning again for the billionth time, I like the wet look. So the gel just kind of like seals everything in. So this is what my hair looks like once I have the herbal essence conditioner and the gel in my hair. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a headband. This is going to further like smooth down those edges. I'm putting a little bit more got to be glued gel towards the front of my hair. And my headband is just going to kind of like, first of all, keep my hair out of my face because I do air dry my hair. And second, it's going to help flatten out the front part of my hair so it can be more sleek. Now I'm going to take out the little bit of baby hairs I have because girl, I don't have that many. <laughs> and I'm going to just go ahead and do my baby hairs. And I'm also going to do my sideburns, you know, just take those out and just kind of fix up the front a little bit i'm also going to use one last product actually i have two more products that i'm going to use i'm going to use this aussie miracle curl defining oil so this is going to help my hair to be not like so crunchy as it's drying but this also helps to kind of seal everything in i like to do this step last i think this is like kind of like the lock method I forgot what this technique is called or maybe it's not a technique but this is just what I like to do I like to end it off with some type of oil or serum in my hair and then I'm just gonna go ahead and let my hair air dry I did run some errands I went outside it was really nice outside so I ran some errands and everything just so my hair could air dry faster and yeah all right, you guys, so this is my hair completely air dried and dry. So as you guys can see, I kind of have like that wet look going on. It still looks like my hair is a little bit wet, but my hair is completely dry. So I took some of that Aussie um, curl defining oil and I put some in my hair because my hair was a little crunchy, but I don't mind the crunch because it helps this style to last longer. And then I'm going to go in with my Myel, I think that's how you say it hair growth serum um, drops. I don't use this often, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, but sometimes I do and I usually wear it, I mean not wear it, I usually use it especially when my hair is in its natural state like this. So yeah, that's pretty much it. This was my quote unquote curly hair routine as a straight hair natural. I do this routine when I wanna wear my hair in its natural state like this. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think about it down below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye you guys.